months. I noticed it becoming stronger and thicker. Neutral has taken me back to the hair I was meant to have. I am back to me. Start your hair growth journey at Nutrafol.com. The Federal Reserve is expected to raise interest rates for the 10th time in just over a year, about a quarter percentage point to be exact. That means, though, that everything from mortgages to credit card debt will get more expensive. Not what we want to hear, right? Yeah, exactly. And, you know, the Feds, it's part of a campaign to temper inflation. But for the average American, it could mean a tighter squeeze on their finances. Yeah, a new report finds that more than two-thirds of millennials are living paycheck to paycheck. And the number for the whole country isn't much better. Mm -hmm. CBS News Miami's Nicole Lauren breaks down these new numbers and how you can protect your wallet. Nicole, good morning. Good morning, Maribel. Good morning, Betty. I can tell you that inflation is most definitely at the root of the problem here. An even bigger problem is the fact that wages for so many Americans across the country are not changing. So whether it's a simple trip to the grocery store or paying your rent, everything is more difficult for so many people because everything is more expensive. So let's talk about those numbers. I'm going to break those down for you and exactly how you can further protect your wallet. As of March, adults across the country feeling stretched too thin fell from 62 percent to 60 percent a slight drop but that's still very high guys more than half the country feeling this way the big headline that Maribel mentioned nearly 73 percent of millennials are living paycheck to paycheck 66 percent of Gen Zers are living paycheck to paycheck and that's up a significant amount 58 percent just a year ago so let's talk about some proactive things that you can do to further their protectors yes sir we back at it again <clears throat> i know you heard what she was saying i know you heard all that see i've been telling you it's been getting real out here because y'all don't want to listen you know what i'm saying y'all just want to keep it oblivious and keep doing all this bullshit but y'all don't want to listen so i'm here to just push the issue you heard all the things that they were saying in that in that news clip should be getting real facts People living paycheck to paycheck at a high rate. At a high rate. And you know what's funny is that I'm going to have some uh, screenshots showing in a second. You know, of just certain apartments that are like a super high price, you know what I'm saying, during this inflation time and stuff like that. And just basically going through, you know, what I think people are doing, you know, for the money. Because, you know what I'm saying, that's, a, that's, my, that's my main thing, you know. Is who, who's over here selling out for this dollar? Who's over here folding to this fucking economic system? You know what I mean? Because it's not about the money. Like I said, like you, it, it's not about the money. Like I said, any day this shit could just crash up and you'd be fucked. You know what I mean? I always say, real freedom comes from your ability to last without the government. And that's facts. All facts. Real freedom is your ability to last without the government over your backside. Like I said in previous videos, like I've said a million times. You know what I'm saying? Can you go out fishing? Can you go out hunting? Can you build a house from scratch, from wood, from a tree, stuff like that? Can you do those things? If not, the ass is not surviving out here on some real shit. The only ones that's gonna be surviving out here is gonna be the people that's gonna be out here. Sex trafficking people for the money, selling body parts for the money, yeah, selling body parts, sex trafficking, scamming, all types of shit. Being selfish, you know what I'm saying? They're scared, they're frantic, they're panicking, and they're resorting to being selfish and taking on, you know, their sinful nature just for the money. We're going to get over this in this next tip right here. So now we got this bartender who purposely is fucking up people's drinks because they don't want to tip them a certain amount. This all goes back to what I was talking about. Like, come on now. Like, you, you, you see the headline, nothing is free in life, right? So I'm going I'm to expound on that headline right there. So, so check it. Like, y'all y'all need to stop going through life, you know what I'm saying, putting a price on everything. You know, and that includes being a decent human being. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all over here putting a price on everything. You know, including being a person of good values, right? A person of good values, right? Okay, it's like y'all sit around, y'all sit around here and don't have compassion for one another. Y'all don't have respect for one another, and y'all damn sure don't want to work together, right? And in times like these, working together is like, bro, working together is gonna 
go miles. Miles. This is gonna go miles. Right? For real. Like, this is the this is this is a time in history where humans need to work together more than ever to get through this bullshit. But y'all don't get that shit. And I understand some of y'all situations, you know. Some of y'all got family that y'all don't fuck with. You know, since COVID, shit they got fucked up. I understand that. Even in my own life, I understand that shit. But it's like, come on now, like, this shit gotta stop. Like, this shit has to stop. Because if we continue to be selfish, this shit is gonna go, this whole country is going down the drain. And that's facts. Like, we are not living through this shit if we continue to be selfish. If motherfuckers don't step up to the plate and start speaking that real shit, shit's not gonna change. If motherfuckers don't start going to these fucking politicians and asking for the change that they need and asking them why the fuck all this shit's happened, asking them to fucking lower these damn prices. Or why the fuck the fucking the U.S. might fucking go, uh, might default on debt on June 1st because all the fucking money that fucking dumbass Biden was giving away to fucking Ukraine and shit like that. Just writing off shit, giving it to Ukraine, writing off all them billions of dollars, trillions of dollars. All that money was going to a different country when the people needed all that shit. The people needed all that shit to recover, but that nigga gave all that shit away to fucking a different country. And y'all just let that shit happen. Like, y'all don't give a fuck about that shit. That shit's fucking crazy. Y'all gotta stop this shit. And I'm talking about physically getting off your ass and doing something. I'm not talking about going to your social media site and just comment, just type a comment, type, like, one comment, and just go back to doing, you know, what you was doing before that. Like, no, they take, get your ass up physically and go somewhere. Go to your nearest town square, your town hall, whatever the fuck, and start demanding this shit. Like, y'all gotta start fighting the fuck back. Like, this shit is not, like... You fight, fight back. Like, stop letting people do this shit to you. This screenshot right here is a screenshot of an apartment that's in California. In the Killer Cali. Where I'm from. You know what I mean? And you see on the screen. Three, three thousand, ten, ten dollars for one apartment, bro. And that could be one bedroom, two bedroom, like. Yeah, one bedroom. It's right there. Like, three grand, one nigga? Are you serious? Are you serious right now? That makes no fucking sense. Like, you're gonna fucking ask somebody to pay motherfucking three grand for one bedroom, my nigga. Like, dude, you don't even get people with enough money to fucking live like that. Like, three grand, boy. And plus, you gotta probably, you gotta show proof that you make at least three times more than the fucking rent. Oh, me. You gotta show what you gotta, that you make three times the rent. And three, three times three, motherfucking nine, nigga. Like, who the fuck is getting nine K a month, my nigga? Like, are you serious? Like, the average, the average person is not getting that shit. 20,000 a year, 30,000 a year, that's not fucking 9k a month, like, what the fuck, are you serious right now, that's just, that's just wild, like, unless you fucking got some inheritance, or, you know, a fucking celebrity, of course, or somebody that has, like, a high pay, like, a high, high, but I don't know what job pays you over 9k a month, like, that's just, I don't know, like, I don't know, that's hella money right there, like, that is fucking hella money, you know what I mean, that's crazy, and to make matters worse, that's what I'm saying, like, I know y'all, some of y'all out here are doing the fuck shit for the money, because, like, I'm saying, like, if I, if I look at these prices, and if I go to that apartment complex right now, and I, and I go and survey who the fuck is living there right now, I'm thinking like that, thinking like, damn, like, I really want to really wonder who the fuck living in these expensive ass apartments, just, like, just, you know what I mean, like, like, like what they doing type shit, because like, I know y'all niggas ain't not, don't be having, no, like, dude, you need a fucking... Like, in order to get a job that pays that fucking high, you need, like, years and years and years worth of experiences, right? Five, five, maybe seven max. I don't know. Shit, just throwing it out there. But your average person, like I said, like, it's like, let me say in the fucking, the news clip. It's fucking millennials, Gen Z, living paycheck, living paycheck to paycheck. You know, of course, you got some out here scamming and shit. You know, etc. Like we, we know what y'all doing out here for the money. Like we know what y'all doing. Like if I go there right now and look at the cars sitting in that lot, th- them cars are not gonna be no fucking Lambos, fucking Hellcat, Scat Pack. Like you know what I mean? Like on some real shit. Like what is y'all doing to pay that high ass rent? Like what proof do y'all have to fucking show that you can pay fucking that high ass rent? You know what I'm saying? Like on some real shit. Like y'all heard either it's gonna be fucking kind of empty or. Something just don't add up, like, you know what I mean? Like, it's a red flag when popping up all over the place, like, you know what I'm saying? Like I was saying, sex trafficking, scamming, fucking, selling body parts, like, y'all motherfuckers out here fucking, 
I mean, you could go into business too. That could be one thing. Like, you know what I mean? You could go into business, but like, come on now. Like, be realistic, man. Like, that shit's not, like, nah, we ain't finna fall for that shit. I ain't falling for that shit. Yeah, you niggas know y'all hard doing that fuck shit. On some real shit. Like, that's not a common thing. Ask, ask anybody in your family, do they make over 9K a month? And see what type, type of answer you get. Like, stop that bullshit. Or somebody, or you girls can have some high ass credit, fucking 800, 900 credit head ass, and just be taking out stupid, dumb, just taking out dummy loans from the bank, just going into more and more debt, just to, co- just to cover your fucking costs for how you live in this shit. That's also a possibility too, just get deep, deep, deep in debt, just to fucking cover your costs of your fucking shit. And that's dumb as fuck. See, I mean, I'm experiencing it right now, bro, in real time. All this shit. You know what I'm saying? They still popping on the gram, et cetera, et cetera. Me and these hard times and shit. Like, shit, families going against each other. My family turning against, turning against my ass. And shit like that. Fucking, when they, when they up there, you know what I'm saying? Living together and shit like that. But, but niggas hate me for some reason. I don't, like I said, like, I can't be around people like them. Cause like, bro, I be speaking too much real shit. And I'm too real. And you know, I see fear God and shit. You know what I mean? So, I'm, of course, I'm gonna get fucking, uh, I'm gonna get uh, crucified. Like, that's just what it is. This is what I signed up for, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I, and I just know that. But, like, I'm gonna get crucified regardless because I'm just I'm just too fucking real and I'm just too, you know, I just follow God, you know, 100%. You know what I mean? You know, I still fuck up. I still follow God. You know, I still go down for everything. That's just what it is, man. But, like, this shit just gotta stop. Like, I don't know what to do. Like, I don't know how to handle this shit. Personally, like, the only thing I could do is just fucking say shit, you know what I'm saying? Give pointers, give tips, and just, you know what I'm saying? Be a fucking voice to the people as much as I can. But other than that, I can't really do much, you know what I mean? I just, you know what I'm saying? I let God handle the rest, you know? I just let God handle the rest, you know? He said, he, he says these things will come to pass, so that, that it, you know, then it will be, you know? Then those things will come to pass, you know? Just like how he said it. You know what I mean? I've experienced so much shit. Like, I've experienced people who turn fake, turn snake. I seen people's personalities change over this money shit, you know, people talk about their own family in a, in a fucked up way over this shit, their own flesh and blood, their own son, their own daughter, you know what I'm saying, just because, you know, they care too much about the money and they put the money over everything and they just fucking turn into nasty people, you know, if they if they don't give them something, then they turn into somebody nasty, and that's just what it is, fucking evil ass place, and just, you know, you gotta be mindful, like, just look at the verse that's, you know, that's popping up on the screen right now. Be faithful until death, and I'll give you the kind of life. You know, I mean, the fact that you even live life, is a gift. Like, your whole gift of even living right now, you even hearing me speaking on this video right now, is the gift of life. And essentially, you're fighting to keep that gift of life, right? That's all it is. Like, yeah, you die, but, you know, once you're brought back, and, you know, facing judgment, you know, that is the day that, you know, that will determine whether or not you get to keep the gift of life. Because you are, you, because you, all of us are a creation. You gotta remember that. Life is a privilege. We were given this life by, you know, the, the one God that, we, that is above us. And he can revoke that privilege or allow you to keep it at any time. So that's, that's what you're fighting for. You're fighting to keep your privilege of life. You're fighting to keep... The interaction between you and other souls, other souls around you. That's the thing. It doesn't matter if you die or not. Because like I said, you will be brought back to life again to face that. To face, you know, your judgment and stuff like that. Like, yeah, like God holds the key to death. You know, to life and death. He holds the, the rights over everything. To hell, heaven, all that shit. So, like I said, you better be faithful until the day you die. No matter how you die, sickness, war, famine, hard times, like, just keep the faith because that's not going to be the last time you will be alive. Like, you live this one life, you die, but you most certainly will be coming back. That's not going to be the end of your life. God is going to rise you back up again to face your judgment. And 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 that, that includes everybody on this fucking planet. Once you die, you go into a state of sleep, you go into a state of slumber, right? You'll be asleep for a while, but it'll only seem like a second, like it says in the Bible. It'll only seem like, to the dead, it'll only seem like a second. To the living, it will seem like years when Judgment Day comes. When you die, second later, you're at Judgment Day. And it's gonna be that quick. 
right? It's kind of like the Einstein theory. E equals MC squared shit. Like, like when people are in space and on Earth, like time is faster on Earth than when somebody, you know, goes out into space. You know what I mean? Like that, that, that same type of concept. You know, that same type of concept. You know, like when you die, yeah, boom, just like that, your ass gonna, before you know it, you're gonna be at Desmond Day, you're gonna be raising up, you're gonna be like, damn, what the fuck just happened? Like, it's gonna be like that, you hear that trumpet, and it's over with. Like, it's gonna be done. But to living, it'll see, it'll, they're gonna go through years and years and years, but to you that's gonna be dead, it's gonna seem like a second. Like, once you die, boom, second, boom, Desmond Day, you there. Everybody's standing there, you know, and it's, and it's about to go down. That's why you gotta live life in, a, in the most positive way you can. Make sure you repent. Make sure you, you know what I'm saying, keep your prayers up. Make sure you treat people, treat people with respect. We're together. Because Lucifer is gonna control the world regardless until the very end. You know? And a lot of people are gonna die. Like, that's just, that's just the fact. A lot of people are gonna die. You're gonna lose people. You're gonna lose family. You're gonna lose friends. All that shit. But remember the goal. Alright? Stay strong. Stay blessed. And stay vigilant. You know, I know things are hard. I know times are hard, but they aren't gonna last forever, right? Don't be, don't, do not be a friend of this world because you, do not be a friend of this world. Don't be one of those people that are gonna have fucking whatever iteration of 666 on your forehead, whatever, whatever that's gonna be. Don't be one of those people walking around with that shit on your forehead just because you wanna live and, you know, shit like that. Like, don't be one of those people. Don't be scared of death. I'm only in my 20s and I realize this shit. Like, do not be scared of death because that's the only thing that they can do to you is kill you. That's the worst they can do. All right, they can't do nothing else to you. Just stay blessed and stay strong. I'm out.